Well, yeah, hello again. Um, welcome back to the channel. Now, you may recall if you watched the last episode, um, you'll know that I came down to Blackness. Um, I got some pictures on the, the other side of the castle, out towards Bowness, but because I'm a complete idiot, rather than go to the place where I'd intended going to get the picture, uh, I kept walking and kept walking and kept walking. Probably the pressures of doing this vlogging, malarkey, in fact. Uh, yeah, so I kept walking, kept walking, kept walking, till I was about three quarters of the way to Bowness, which probably wasn't so clever. Anyway, on that video, I promised you the best angle to take a picture of Blackness Castle and uh, I didn't have time to do it, unfortunately. So I've come back down today and I shall take you along to that place. Now I have taken this picture before, uh, I'll show you that later on, but uh, this particular one I'm going to take in the afternoon. It's a lovely midday, well not quite midday, it's mid-afternoon. Um, not ideal for getting photos, but we'll see what we can do. Right, come here and I'll show you this. Right, well, if you're coming down here, this gate is what you have to look out for. It's about maybe, uh, what, a couple hundred metres or so through the, the west of Shore Woods there. Uh, to Blackness, um, Blackness Castle being just along there somewhere. Um, so they're very pretty woods, quite old. Um, I believe they were planted at one point um, for building ships. I could be wrong in that. But uh, anyway, that's what you want to do. You want to come down here uh, through this gate and it'll take you out uh, onto the beach at Blackness here. Into, uh, it's not Blackness Bay, I don't know what it's called. Western Shore or something like that. Right, well, so what am I doing here? I'll tell you. Um, as you can see, the castle is, is just out there. And uh, I came here before and I got probably the best shot of Blackness Castle that I've ever taken. And I shall stick that up on the screen just about here-ish. Now, I'm very fond of that, I've got it hanging on my wall at home. Anyway, that was taken in the evening. Now, when I came here before, last time, in the last vlog, it was the evening, I was hoping to get a nice sunset shot with all those posts and whatnot. But, as I said, I was too late. So, uh, I've decided to come down here this afternoon instead. Um, now, the thing about this shot, this particular shot, is that it needs to be taken when the tide is high. Um, if you want a shot like the one I showed you, it needs to be taken at sunset and it needs to be taken when the water is relatively flat so you get all those nice reflections. Now, I'm here this afternoon but as you can see, um, there's no sunset, it's the middle of the day. The water Flattish, it's not fantastic. So, and it is high tide, 
I've actually come in just a little bit too uh, early. The tide has been in and now it's on its way back out again. So I'll just sit and wait until the uh, until the tide goes out. And uh, I'll show you the picture at that point. Now, my plan when the tide goes out is um, to take a, a long exposure shot. It's in the middle of the day, so uh, the light's not fantastic. So I'll go for a long exposure shot. Uh, maybe a minute, maybe two, we'll see. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Well, I've come right down to the uh, the water's edge now, and uh, I really think I still need to wait for a wee bit more. I need the tide just to go out another another couple of meters because I'm not quite getting the the picture I'm after here. Um, I'm going for a long exposure, as I say, but uh, portrait mode, as you can see from the camera here. Uh, I will move it right down it should only be another five or ten minutes i reckon until it's in the right place but i'll move the camera down a bit i just want to get the castle quite big in the background that's the thing um it's very nearly there so just leave it just now what i'll do in fact if i take you through the composition um right there's a record button in here if i just move that out of the way and uh, as you can see, oh, let's move this out a little bit. There we go. Um, now, as you can see, we've got the posts. Ugh, let's see if I can move in here. Yeah, these posts right across here, like that. And I've tried to leave just a bit of a gap between the posts and the castle, which is going to be sitting. If I adjust it, there, about maybe two thirds up the screen, like that. And. Uh, We'll see how it goes from there. Right, so yeah, as so you can see, I've, I've raised the camera up just a tad, just to, to increase the, the distance between the sticks and the castle. Now, I'm going to give it a 25 second exposure, which hopefully will be long enough. The, the water's quite calm. Um, as I say, I'm hoping this shot should be in black and white anyway, because the light's not fantastic. Uh, so, let's kick it off and we'll see where we go from there. And that's not actually too bad, but I think there could be another another shot if I just move the camera over just a little bit. Right, so yes, um, I've moved the camera over here, so I've actually got the um, got the posts all lined up right across in front of the castle here. Uh, you probably can't see, I've still got the, fi the filter on on the front, the ND filter. I'm looking at ND 1000 here, 10 stops, which has given me, because it's relatively bright still, giving me a 25 second exposure or so. So, um, in actual fact, let's turn it down a wee tad, just to there, right. See if that improves it any. And I shall, Hit the shutter button and we'll see what happens. Off it goes, 25 seconds. And uh, hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad once the tide... We don't have much time, it's not a big window when the tide's in just the right position. 
but again hopefully it'll turn out quite nice here's the shot Right, well, that's me. It's been a fun afternoon. Just the one photograph today. Uh, but it was a good one, I like to think. I'll wait and see what it's like. You'll have seen it already, but I think it was not bad. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to wrap up the vlog here and now. Um, if you did like it, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Uh, click the wee bell so you get notified for every single vlog that I put out. I'm um, planning to do one a week, hopefully. We'll see how they turn out. And, uh, and that's about it. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.